myself Ankit, and I'm back with another interesting video. If you like the content, do spread the words. Last week, I uploaded video about the difference between TU and FH, in the comment section, viewers demanded a dedicated video about studying in the FH. So in this video, I will share my experience of studying MS in HAW Hamburg. So let's begin with Master in Fachhochschule, HAW Hamburg. In March 2017, I started my MS at HAW Hamburg. In the first semester you will get help and support from International Office by conducting orientation seminars and other group activities like scavenger hunt and intercultural activities, so that you can get to know other students and get along. They have a very interesting and useful program called, We Buddy. Under this program, you get a buddy student mostly from your course. This buddy can help you in the beginning with your city registration and all other documentation work, also by showing student around the university and city. We Buddy program also conduct events for having fun and enjoying your time in the university. For example, boat riding, barbecue, grill party, weekend parties, and other interesting games. That's for social life and to enjoy your stay in Hamburg City. Now coming back to study part. As it is an applied science university, you will begin with approximately 40 to 50 students each semester. Semester starts with the official welcome and orientation for your course by head of department. Here you will know all things you need to finish your course successfully. In my course I had to complete minimum 10 modules to get my master's done. Max. I can go till 13. Rest won't be printed on my degree. This way you can make your master's structure content yourself. Around 20 plus modules are there to take from. You can extend it by attending some from other departments as well. But that must be approved by your department first. Let's talk about lectures. Class starts at 8.30 and finishes around 5.30 in the evening. But you have to select subjects for each semester, which you want to attend and also give exam, which happens in the first lecture where you have to sign in the list. You can take four to six subjects as per your capacity. Mostly you can make your timetable, where you can keep one or two day free. It all depends on the timetable provided by the university and subjects you are attending. In each subject you have two times 90 minutes lecture per week, where you have 15 minutes break in between. You will attend subjects with 20 to 30 other students depending on the subject, as due to more choice students are divided in small groups, only in common subjects you will see total strength. Teaching method can vary, but mostly it's taught using PowerPoint slides and script which you will be provided when you attend the class. Some asks to print it yourself. End of semester in many subjects you have to submit assignments on the mini project, which you have done during the semester. In very few subjects you have to write a exam, which is mainly about solving problems, instead of mugging up stuffs from slides and script. There are laboratory and tutorials in addition to lectures, where you take things in your hand. For example, I performed experiments on Renault Twizy using sensors. Those data and its interpretation, I presented at the end of the semester and submitted the report. Placement. There's no placement concept as we have it in India, where universities claim to provide 100% placements in their ads, but you know the reality. In Germany, there is nothing like campus placement, and there is no ranking for universities. It depends on the individual person and his skills. University organizes Firmienkontaktmess, where all local and national firms come to university. Here you can make some contacts, which can play crucial roles in finding internship or job. In addition, Career Service Department will organize different workshops and seminars to help you out with your soft skills. Time to time there are also visits to companies like Airbus, Lufthansa and other local firms. Finding job and internships. You have to do it yourself. By applying actively and using right methods and approach as discussed in my previous video about finding job after MS in Germany, you can find the link in right corner. Professors can help you out in this, but you have to prove your skills by working under their guidance in project or thesis. I was lucky to get recommendation from professor in my search to internship, where I also wrote my thesis. In my case it was voluntary internship, which is hard to find. In some FH, you have internship as part of your MS, which makes it easier to get a place. After graduation. After graduation you can register yourself as an alumnus. You will get an ID card for that. With it you can still use some of the university service up to two years for free. You will also get emails about alumni activities, where you can take part. Offers from career service would be free for you. 
In case you are still in search of job after graduation, you can avail the service of CV check or interview practice with them. I was invited to share my experience with other international students as a guest speaker. This way you will stay connected to the university even after the graduation. I can think of these aspects about studying in a FH, HAW Hamburg. If you think, I missed something, do comment it down. I would be happy to update this content ASAP. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. All the best. Bye.